Note, all characters, events, and spoken words in this story are fictional, and is not meant to target any specific audience. Feel free to stop reading at any time and read at your own risk. There once was a rich man named Seo Wank. Like many other rich men, Seo Wank believed he did not have enough money and always desired for more. Although Seo Wank was successful early on, recently Seo Wank seemed to have hit a plateau in his money earning as a lot of the businesses that Seo Wank had invested in coincidentally shut down due to their owners going bankrupt for one reason or another. Seo Wank was frustrated and couldn't help but make a wish. Seo Wank believes that everyone should have a net worth, or a money value over their lifetime. Seo Wank wished that he could see the future net worth of a person with a glance, and be able to increase the net worth of a person by touching them. Seo Wank believed that this would allow him to invest in individuals with potential and never have to worry about suffering a loss. Seo Wang didn't care what the cost of such a power was as he only cared that it would increase a person's money value over their lifespan. Of course, Seo Wang knew that this wish was a fantasy as it was pretty much wishing for a superpower. What Seo Wang didn't know is that one of the many business owners he had cooperated with was jealous of Seo Wang because Seo Wang still managed to live a rich life even though the businesses went bankrupt. Hence, although this business owner went bankrupt, this business owner paid a heavy price to a hidden witch to curse Seo Wang. Nobody knew who, when, why, or how this happened, but the curse seemed to have succeeded as Seo Wang had trouble sleeping that night. Or did it? The next day, Seo Wang woke up as usual and got prepped to head to his company like usual. At first, Seo Wang did not notice it but midway on the road to work, Seo Wang noticed that there were tiny numbers floating above everyone else's head. Seo Wang took a closer look at the numbers floating on top of his driver's head and noticed there was a dollar sign as if signifying that the number was the worth of the driver. Seo Wang thought he was hallucinating at first due to not getting enough sleep the day before. However, after many days has passed, Seo Wang noticed the numbers didn't go away. Not only that, he also noticed that the numbers of certain famous individuals or business owners he met were much higher than the many people he saw on the street. It was not until after concluding a business with a partner company's representative and shaking his hand did Seo Wang realize what these numbers he was seeing meant. Seo Wang noticed the number jumping up as he shook the hand of the representative, and it reminded Hom of his wish. Seo Wang was shocked at that moment before recovering his composure and sending the representative off. Then, Seo Wang sat down and thought long and hard about his new ability. Over the next couple of months, Seo Wang decided to test out his ability to see if it actually increases the net worth of someone. Instead of choosing rich businessmen that would have made it difficult to tell if there was actually any difference, Seo Wang chose to test it on some beggars that had future net worth of a very low value. Seo Wang would go greet them, shake their hand or give them a pat on their head, then Seo Wang silently watched the value go up by a whole lot before hiding somewhere. Then, Seo Wang would watch the beggar magically find money on the ground or receive the pity of some passerby, hence hitting and nearing the predetermined net worth easily. Although there was also a factor called luck that was in play, Seo Wang believed that it was his ability that affected that luck. Hence, Seo Wang began to use his new powers to invest, choosing those companies who were owned by individuals that showed a high future net worth. Not even a year later, Seo Wang had made big bucks from his investments, enough for Seo Wang to retire and live a decent, albeit not tycoon life. However, like many other men, Seo Wang was greedy for more, however, Seo Wang found it difficult to find any more companies with decent future net worth to invest in as he had already invested in most of them. It's not like Seo Wang could simply spend all his time stalking every company's owner just to see their future net worth. Hence, Seo Wang decided to use the other part of his ability, the ability to increase one's net worth, or their money value over their lifetime. Hence, Seo Wang decided to pick out some poor folks and beggars. Then, under the guise of mentoring, Seo Wang would shake their hands or pat their head with praise. Within six months, Seo Wang had turned the poor folks and beggars into business owners of decent-sized companies. Then, Seo Wang left them alone as he watched them grow on their own as their future net worth had already grown to an all-time high due to Seo Wang's love and care. 
Of course, Seo Wang managed to reap loads of profits as he was the one that was the major investor in all their companies when the companies had just started up. Not even a year later, Seo Wang had already became a tycoon who could retire while living a luxurious life. Although Seo Wang was greedy for more, Seo Wang believed it was enough because Seo Wang knew he probably couldn't spend all the money before he climbs on his deathbed, assuming he doesn't just toss out money like an idiot. So, Seo Wang decided to step back from business and went on a leisure life of vacation. However, fate doesn't want to let Seo Wang go as a fresh, large gift was delivered right to Seo Wang while he was on traveling. On one of his travels, Seo Wang's travel route was leaked and Seo Wang was then targeted by terrorists that were after his money. Fortunately, with his money, Seo Wang did manage to hire decent bodyguards who guarded him well. Unfortunately, Seo Wang's travel location happened to be near a river, and while the assailants were fighting the bodyguards, Seo Wang was accidentally knocked into the rushing river due to having insufficient skilled bodyguards to guard by his side. Seo Wang knocked into a rock in the river before passing out, allowing the river to wash him away. Normally, Seo Wang would have died in this situation, but as fate would have it, Seo Wang was saved by a poor lady from a nearby village who was doing her laundry by the river. When Seo Wang woke up and saw this lady, it was not love at first sight. Instead, Seo Wang was attracted to the extremely high number value, one that was close to Seo Wang's own estimated net worth, floating over her head as an irresistible greed crawled into Seo Wang's heart. Seo Wang thought that since fate had delivered her to him, he would put her to use so that a similar situation where his life is threatened would not happen once more. But was this what fate intended?